Chris here and welcome to a camera comparison between the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So front facing cameras right now and it is the Vivo X90 Pro Plus that can only shoot in 1080p with its front facing 32 megapixel camera. The 12 megapixel camera with the iPhone and then the 40 megapixel with the Galaxy S22 Ultra can both shoot 4K 30, 4K 60. So testing out the stabilization, but also here the microphones. I'm swapping over the audio sources. Just jog up these stairs a little bit. We'll see which one of these has the steadiest footage. 4K 30 frames per second with our main cameras here. So we have 50 megapixels, a one inch sensor versus 108 megapixels and the 48 megapixels with the iPhone. So stabilization across all three of them is both optical and electronic here. And of course I am swapping over those audio sources. So I'm just gonna jog down these stairs here and see which one of these is the steadiest with that electronic image stabilization and optical. And just a pan around now. I'll try and go nice and slow. So hopefully none of these has terrible judder coming through. Now I have swapped over to 4K 60 frames per second. I could even show you 8K, but the iPhone can't do 8K. And it's the Vivo that can do 8K 30, and the S22 Ultra can only do 8K 24 frames per second. So walking along, it looks very steady as I pan around here. Certainly a lot smoother looking than the 4K 30 frames per second. And then just a bit of a jog, and now a sprint. Which one do you think has the best electronic and ele sorry optical image stabilization here ultra wide cameras now so still keeping with 4k 30 frames per second they're using electronic image stabilization just walking ahead there's a few stones and things around and hopefully the audio quality is good across all three of these now there shouldn't really be any wind noise because it's not really that windy it's just a very light breeze so if that's picked up by the microphones then we are off to a good start 4k 60 this time with the zoom camera so 3.5 times zoom here with the vivo versus the three times with the iphone and the three times here with the galaxy s22 ultra so i was just walking then but now just panning around a little it's the castle there in the background Seems to be looking steady across all three here. Now over to low light video. So this is a course where things start to get really difficult for these small sensors. So with the front facing cameras, I'm shooting at 4K on the S22 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But of course, there is no 4K, sadly, with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. So it's just 1080p here. Which one do you think looks the best for low light front facing? video. Low light 4K, 30 frames per second. Now as I move this around, I can see some of those lens flare kind of things happening with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is one of its weaknesses, it's always kind of been there. You can see now, look at the sky, it looks like there's two UFOs moving about with the iPhone. Whereas with the S22 Ultra and then the X90 Pro Plus, you don't really see that and you probably see it the least on the X90 Pro Plus because it does have that T-Star Zeiss lens coating on the optics that is why i don't seem to see any of it at all here so moving about just slowly is there a big difference between these here for me for low light video the winner is definitely not going to be that iphone because of those lens effects so it really is between the x90 pro plus also has that v2 chip and then the samsung galaxy s22 ultra a light little jog ahead where it is darker in this area, testing out that electronic and optical image stabilization. And now with the ultra wide cameras, the lenses that uh, all three of them are using aren't geared towards low light performance at all. So I'm looking for really which one has the least noise here and the more usable video quality with 4K 30 frames per second. Now the street lights in the background there, they should be yellow. Over here in Europe, in Spain, they use yellow street lights normally in most areas. So in the distance there, it should be looking yellow. Just pan around, hopefully no really annoying judders 
are coming through it all. Over to our photo samples now. So portrait mode. The white balance with the iPhone pretty much like always seems to be off. It's a little too cool white here. I like the colors with the Zeiss natural enabled with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. But for some reason with the front facing camera, it didn't blur the background and it looks like it's got a bit of a beautifying mode. So I think here the best shot is actually the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Rear portrait photo. So the separation of the subject, myself here and my cat and the background with the X90 Pro Plus does look the best, the best background blur. The iPhone Pro Max, I would say, is a good second there. And I don't know what happened to the S22 Ultra. This was the default setting, so it's just the one times. And it looks like I'm not in focus, a little bit blurred there. So barely no background blur at all, even though, yes, it was portrait mode. Then this flower here taken with the main cameras. The color balance is more natural and best on the Vivo. I like the background blur the best too. But when you zoom in, you crop in here 200%. You can see where I focused on all three of these was the middle of the flower, yet the focus is off, unfortunately, with the X90 Pro Plus. And it's something I see with the same sensor with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. A very difficult shot, this one, to capture those reds with this hibiscus flower. So in the middle there, with the petals, you can see the X90 Pro Plus is in fact clipping the colors there. The phone that does the best job is, I believe, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, second, the S22 Ultra. The background blur, to me, looks the best with the X90 Pro Plus, but because it didn't capture those reds so well and clipped, I can't give it the win here. Yet another difficult shot here, so all three of them are clipping and just not handling, really, those bright colors of the flower. The background, I think, looks the best, the blur, depth of field, with the X90 Pro Plus. And when you zoom in and take a look at the details of those individual little petals and the bright colors there, I think it is the X90 Pro Plus just that pulls ahead of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and S22 Ultra. Now the zoom cameras. So the iPhone doesn't stand a chance here at all because it's only got three times optical where we've got slightly more optical zoom and a higher megapixel count with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. But you can't really beat that 10 times optical that you do get with the S22 Ultra. So it still really is, I feel, the zoom champ, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So this shot is an excellent test here of HDR and it is super close. Really hard to pick a winner until you start to look at the shadows. The details in the black areas, the dark areas, do come out best with the X90 Pro Plus, I did find. If you look in the top right hand corner or around the fireplace and those seats in the rear, you'll see what I mean. The other phones tend to crush the blacks quite a bit. So in this photo here of the two cats, the S22 Ultra, the white balance is off. It's too cool, it's got a bit of a bluish tint to it. The X90 Pro Plus has the more true to life colors, but the iPhone is quite close here, very close. And I do like the iPhone 14 Pro Max's detailed capture with the fur of the cat, which was my subject I focused on. I think overall, it is the iPhone that took the best photo here and gets the win. Still with those main cameras, so this, at first glance, they kind of all look the same, but then you look at the pavers and the shadows is where we have a big difference. So I think with the HDR here, there's more detail in the shadows. Shadows captured better with the X90 Pro Plus. If you look around those plants and the entrance of the hotel door, detail across all three of them is here yeah, very good. Uh, they're about the same in the levels of detail captured. It's really the big difference is what is captured in those shadows. So that's why I give the win here to the X90 Pro Plus. Ultra wide cameras now. So there's a big megapixel count difference here. So we've got two 12 megapixel cameras with the S22 Ultra and the 14 Pro Max, and then 48 megapixels with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Now that doesn't really make that much of a difference. It's not, of course, about megapixel count. The brighter image definitely is the X90 Pro Plus here. It's not really until you crop in, you can see that because of maybe the high resolution, we get a few more extra details with the X90 Pro Plus. When you take a look at the windows there, the shutters, you can see some of the different slats present there, which you can't really with the S22 Ultra because of its contrast. It's a little bit more darker in the shadows. 14 Pro Max is a, a bit of a blend between those two, but overall, I think for me, the more pleasant and the brighter image gets the win here with the X90 Pro Plus. So same story again with this coastal shot here with the ultra wides. The S22 Ultra oversaturated sky and the bottom left hand corner didn't look that kind of color there. It's just they've tweaked the colors too much. 
Samsung, a little bit too contrasty. iPhone 14 Pro Max, very good shot. I like the details it's capturing, especially in the rocks in the middle. The best color balance though is the X90 Pro Plus using that Zeiss natural setting. So the sky did look like that and it's more true to life, the colors definitely, but it didn't really seem to capture the details well as the iPhone 14 Pro Max with this particular ultra wide shot. Finally onto low light, so selfies, not good at all across all three. Um, but yeah, the Vivo X90 Pro Plus did actually turn out to look the best here, have the best white balance, but it's applying some beautifying to my face when I'm very certain that I didn't actually have anything enabled. I'm pretty sure I disabled it. This photo here with low light, you can see they all look very, very similar. Slight differences in the white balance. The X90 Pro Plus probably is, again, the more true to life with the colors of this hotel. Now, until you crop in, you don't really see any major differences. But when you do, you see that, okay, the X90 Pro Plus, yes, around, see that Audi there, that four-wheel drive, looks a little bit better, slightly more details, maybe not quite as sharpened as the iPhone. And overall, a fraction, and just a fraction better, I believe, than the other two phones here. The shot here, there's barely any difference, and it comes down to just some minor things, and that is the white balance, and the colors overall are better with the X90 Pro Plus because it should look a little more orange. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, really the building is more whiter than it should be. And if you crop in, you can see some other minor little differences here of how that lamp is handled. So the street light is handled best on the S22 Ultra and even better on the X90 Pro Plus. And that is the reason why I give it the win is for the colors. So the color science here and just capturing that light a little bit better than the other two. But it's so close here. They're all very good, all three of these. Now they're ultra wide cameras. So not good, really, all three of these. As I mentioned when we looked at the video in low light, that these lenses are not really meant for low light performance at all. So the S22 Ultra, I don't know what happened. It's slightly blurred. Maybe I moved, but I tried to hold and held the phones all the same. So I don't know what happened there, but that's how it came out. That's exactly how I'm showing it here. The Vivo X90 Pro Plus looks a little bit too bright. The sky, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, maybe a little too dull than what it really was. But if you do crop in, they aren't really that great. But I do like the fact that the iPhone 14 Pro Max helps retain some of those details, especially around the Jamaica Inn sign and some of the dirtier areas of the building. It gets a little bit more washed out with the X90 Pro Plus. And yes, the S22 Ultra is just a blurry mess there. And finally, for low light, this shot here, you can see the clouds do look quite bright. And that is because they're low-lying clouds and we're getting a lot of the ambient light from the city reflecting off them. And it did kind of look like that. But the colors definitely, again, the X90 Pro Plus with their Zeiss Natural filter selected. iPhone 14 Pro Max is the darkest of all three of them here. So for me, it's between the S22 Ultra and the X90 Pro Plus. Both very good low-light photos. But the edge goes to the X90 Pro Plus for me because it's the colors a little bit more exactly how I really saw it. And so that's why it gets the win there. But not a massive difference there between having the 108 megapixel sensor and then the 50 megapixel one inch sensor doesn't seem to give it a huge advantage here. It's more the software and the lens maybe. Now to recap my findings. Very interesting with the video quality. I think at times the X90 Pro Plus certainly had a brighter image, more details in the shadows, and I would give it the win almost if it wasn't for its poor audio quality and the fact that I do see it sometimes with stutters when you pan around it judders. And you'll see at low light right now, it doesn't suffer from that lens flare issue, or at least not as bad as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And if you pause it, you'll see the image quality is better, but it's again the judder that comes through just kind of ruins the footage for me. If Vivo can fix that, then we're going to have almost one of the best when it comes to video quality and can improve the audio quality, of course. Now then for stills, portrait photos, I did like the look of the X90 Pro Plus, especially with the Zeiss colors. iPhone 14 Pro Max with the selfies was a little bit too blue, the tint. I think the S22 Ultra took the best selfies. Ultra wide quality, the X90 Pro Plus tend to be the best out of all three I found with more details in the shadows. But sometimes when it's brightened up with the HDR, you lose some of that detail and then the iPhone 14 Pro Max could actually be a little bit better 
When it came to HDR overall, I think it was the X90 Pro Plus. Very good. A game with the shadows, just capturing more details there. And then the colors, definitely the best with the X90 Pro Plus. More true to life with the Zeiss natural filter enabled, which I was using throughout the duration of all the samples I have shown you here. Then finally, the audio quality. I believe the S22 Ultra's microphones did sound the best. So thank you so much for watching this comparison between the X90 Pro Plus, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you did like it, please give a like, subscribe for more, and I do hope to see you in the next one.